In today's video, we're going to show you the secret of leading the golf swing with your right arm. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome back to Get Good at Golf. On this channel, that's what we aim to help you do every single day. This is a very difficult situation that we're in here. We're 200 yards out. I've got a long iron, precisely a Tacoma 3014 iron, and I'm going to try and get this on the green. How does my right arm help me do this? This is something that can be so simple but can totally transform your golf game with just a couple of swings. So essentially what we're going to try and do here is make sure the basics are right, make sure the setup's correct, make sure the grip's correct. But from here, how does my right arm want to work? Does it want to work out here? That doesn't look very natural, so we'll go with no. Does it want to really rotate in here? That doesn't look like a great position, so we're going to go with no. Your right arm wants to fold up as you take the club away. So if my right elbow works up and folds, you'll see that club works on a really nice plane up towards this position where the butt of the club's pointing down at the golf ball. From there, I can rotate my shoulders. Now, the key here, because we're going to talk about the downswing mainly, but you can't talk downswing unless you have a nice takeaway and a nice backswing. So as soon as we get in that position, what does the right arm do from here? Because I'm almost holding a dinner plate up there. That's a very, very famous saying where if your right arm's in the right position, you could hold a plate up here. From here, I want your right elbow to work this way. So I want it to work almost as though you're gonna skim a stone, which is something that we've used in the past here. So if I was gonna throw a golf ball, I wouldn't throw it and the right elbow work up. That's something which we see so many golfers do. The right elbow works the wrong way. And if I attach a golf club to this, so I get, even to a nice position at the top, and my right elbow works this way, what happens to that shaft? It gets really, really steep. And if you're someone who struggles with the occasional pull shot, the occasional slice shot, that's gonna promote the out to -wing swing path that does that. So that's what's hindering you, especially when we talk long irons like this one, because there's not a lot of loft on there. Generally, people try to get the ball airborne. Do not try to get the ball airborne. Let the club do the work for you, and I guarantee you'll hit better shots. So precisely how do I get this right arm working this way? Because from the top of the backswing, I want to make sure that that's the strike that we are getting. You can see I've held my finish nicely. We're nicely in balance. That one's just left of the green, but it's the perfect strike. It's the perfect shot realistically. I'm from 220 yards. I'm taking that all day long. Now you might notice there that my right elbow didn't work steeply didn't work over this way it just sat down nicely it actually worked towards my ribs here so you can see that shaft plane almost flattening nicely here and from there i can release my chest and my shoulders to get the club where i want it to be the key here is to make sure once you've done that we get that forward shaft lean and we get the weight or pressure moving to your left foot because from there, that's your perfect impact position. And you'll see the shot that I hit earlier. We had a nice little divot here. It wasn't too deep. It wasn't a big scythe across it. If you got your right arm working incorrectly and you got that really steep shaft angle there, I'm not gonna take one because John immaculately looks after these fairways, but it'd be a very, very steep, horrible divot pointing massively to the left. But well, this is something you can hopefully repeat time after time just by making sure you use that right arm correctly in the downswing. And again, that is exactly the same shot time after time, exactly the same divot time after time. And hopefully, guys, that's going to help you hit better iron shots, use that right arm better and get good at golf.